Thanks for checking out this video. So this is my monthly video where I'm going to tell you what's coming to the Shutter streaming service for the next month. So for June, they're actually putting up a lot of stuff. Uh, There's some months where it's a little bit lighter, some it's a little more dense. This is one of the more dense months coming up for June, so going to be pretty exciting. So know up front that any of the Shutter exclusives and Shutter originals, I will most likely be getting screener copies for those, so I will be putting out reviews, no spoiler reviews, ahead of the actual release for those videos. So you can know you can always come to my channel for the no spoiler reviews for these films before they're actually hitting Shutter. So just remember that. So getting into it, uh, Shutter exclusive at the moment. Shutter's original Shutter originals and exclusive. This is a Shutter exclusive. Uh, this is one I've actually been looking forward to checking out because I've heard very good things. I'm huge into documentaries. I'm huge into horror. I'm huge into horror documentaries, and this is one of those. This is Scream Queen: My Nightmare on Elm Street, and here's the synopsis of that. This one hits June 4th, just so you know, so very early on. Some have called it the gayest horror movie ever made, but Mark Patton, the star of A Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge, it was anything but a dream come true. 30 years after its initial release, Patton sets the record straight about the controversial sequel that halted his career before it even began, detailing the homophobia and AIDS phobia of 1985 as a closeted actor in Hollywood. Mark retraces his obstacles, missteps, and detractors on the pathway to stardom. Confronting the cast and crew for the first time, Mark attempts to make peace with his past as well as embrace his legacy as cinema's first male scream queen. So, like I said, I've heard really good things about that documentary. It's been on my list to check out. Um, I've Honestly, I've always enjoyed the second Nightmare on Elm Street. I know a lot of people say it's the worst. I don't think that's the case. It's definitely not the worst of them. And I think a lot of that was kind of born out of the homophobia of the time. And so it sounds like this documentary kind of delves into that. So it'll be very interesting to see his perspective, what he went through, and how he kind of works through that stuff. So I'm excited for that one. The next one is a Shudder original. This one is called Warning Do Not Play, and it's coming June 11th. Aspiring director Mi Jung struggles to come up with ideas for a new horror film until her friend Jun Seo tells her about a mysterious film rumored to be shot by a ghost. While researching it, she begins to write a new screenplay about her hunt for this ghost film, but as she gets closer to the truth, the line between her film and her life begins to blur. Sounds like it can be pretty solid. Um, I will be checking that one out as well because, you know, I'll get a screener for it. And the next one, I'm actually pretty excited about this. This is a horror comedy. I really like horror comedies that are well done, and I've heard good things about this one already. This is a Shutter original. It's called Scare Package, and it's coming June 18th. Seven directors, seven tales of terror, zero working cell phones. <laughs> In this gleefully ghoulish anthology, Chad, the owner of Rad Chad's Horror Emporium, recounts a series of bone-chilling, blood-splattered tales to illustrate the rules of the horror genre to his newest employee. That sounds fun. I'm excited for that. I don't see any, like, real big names involved in it, but not like that really matters. Um, then another Shutter original, this one is called Yummy, and this was at uh, South by Southwest. Uh, this is coming out June 25th. A young couple travels to a shady Eastern European hospital for plastic surgery. The young woman wants a breast reduction. Her mother comes along for yet another facelift. Wandering through an abandoned ward, the boyfriend stumbles upon a young woman gagged and strapped to an operating table. She's the result of experimental rejuvenation treatment. He frees her but doesn't realize she's patient zero and he just caused the outbreak of a virus that will change the doctors, patients, and his mother-in-law into bloodthirsty zombies. Don't know how I feel about that. Um, I'm, I don't know, if you've been watching my channel long enough, you know that I'm kind of done to a degree with zombie films, unless they have some new angle to them, like Train to Busan was a good one that I quite enjoyed. Uh, just recently I saw One Cut of the Dead. That one was had a good um, angle to it, so we'll see. They're going to be updating their collections. They're actually going to uh, add to their queer horror collection, so... Uh, ones they're going to be adding to the queer horror collection are Alina, All Cheerleaders Die, Better Watch Out, Hellraiser, Knife and Heart. Um, I can highly recommend Hellraiser, obviously. Knife and Heart as well. That's a really good giallo, French giallo, and it's more recent. 
uh, Lizzie, Lyle, The Old Dark House, The Quiet Room, Scream Queen, My Nightmare on Elm Street, Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball Bolorama. I recommend that too. It's <laughs> nutty and fun. Stranger by the Lake, Sweet Sweet Lonely Girl, and The Wild Boys. Now, another interesting thing that they're doing on Shudder for June is they are basically hosting the Etheria Short Film Festival, which is really cool. Uh, it's just a bunch of short films that are going to drop on the 19th of June, and I'm excited because not a lot of people really talk about short films, and they really should do more. So maybe I'll actually do like a blitz of the short films and kind of release them like in a series of days. We'll see. I don't know. For more than half a decade, Los Angeles-based Etheria Film Night has been one of the world's most respected showcases of new horror, comedy, science fiction, fantasy, action, and thriller films made by emerging women directors. With in-person events on hold due to COVID-19, Shudder is proud to partner with Etheria to host this year's lineup of outstanding shorts from June 19th to July 20th. Okay, you go to etheriafilmnight.com for more information. And then they have a list of all the shorts that are going to be there. So, But we'll see. Okay, obviously Joe Bob Briggs, uh, Last Driving with Joe Bob Briggs, will be continuing every Friday throughout June. So we know about that. Now, here are the new movies and series coming in June that are not Shutter Originals or exclusives. Blackula. This is a film that's been on my gigantic list of films to see, so I will be checking this one out. Um, three, uh, oh, okay. So actually it's going to be... Blackula, Scream, Blackula, Scream, and Sugar Hill. All three of these kind of horror black exploitation films, which Blackula's been on my list. Scream, Blackula, Scream, I know about, hasn't necessarily been on my list. And Sugar Hill, I know about, hasn't been on my list. So here's what they wrote for this. Three black exploitation horror classics join our horror noir collection this month. In William Crane's Blackula, an 18th century African prince, pays a visit to Count Dracula seeking his support in ending the slave trade. Instead, the Count transforms him into a vampire and entombs him until the disco era. In the scintillating sequel, the son of a late high priestess seeks revenge on the cultists who have chosen his foster sister, Lisa, as their new leader. Hoping to curse her, he unwittingly resurrects Blackula, B B Blackula's earthly remains. And in Sugar Hill, after a nightclub owner gets taken out by a mob, by the mob, his girlfriend Diana Sugar Hill calls upon the voodoo high priest Baron Samedi to summon the undead to carry out an unholy plan for revenge. Very interested in those, so I'm into it. Now the next film I'm not so much interested in, this one is also hitting on June 1st. Uh, House of a Thousand Corpses. Um, I'm not going to read the synopsis for that one because pretty much everyone knows about that film at this point. Uh, it's a Rob Zombie film. It's the first one in a series of that one, uh, Devil's Rejects and Three from Hell. I wasn't a big fan of House of a Thousand Corpses, but it's been a while, so maybe I need to rewatch it. Uh, then June 4th is Scream Queen, My Nightmare on Elm Street, obviously. June 8th is Lyle. Expecting couple Leah and June move into a Brooklyn brownstone apartment with their toddler daughter, Lyle. Despite the, ba the strange baby-obsessed landlady downstairs and the group of female models who live above them, the two are happy with their new apartment until a bizarre accident leads to the death of their daughter. Months later, Leah is still grief-stricken, trying to make sense of Lyle's death, her landlady's odd behaviors, and her attraction to one of the models upstairs. As Leah prepares for her home birth, she begins to suspect the neighbors are involved in a satanic pact and fears for her unborn baby. This sounds a lot like Rosemary's Baby, so I'm wondering if it's going to kind of be a play on that or a reimagining of it or something. So, I don't know. Lukewarm on that one. June 11th is that movie Warning Do Not Play. June 15th, The Bone Box. After stealing from a number of graves, Tom begins to hear and see strange things that seem to coincide with the dead people that he robbed. Okay, that sounds interesting to me. I could check that out. Mausoleum, coming the same day. Uh, the gnomed family has been the victim of an ancient curse in which the firstborn daughter of each generation has gone violently mad and then suspiciously dies. No one can explain the gnomed madness but some say it's because of a terrible demonic force by way of an unnatural urge during her mother's funeral susan entered her family's 
mausoleum, and ever since, an evil presence has been lurking inside of her, waiting for a chance to come out. Now an adult, something is hiding inside Susan's body, coming out to grotesquely murder anyone who comes too close to uncovering her terrifying secret. Sounds interesting. I could check that one out. Then June 18th is that care package, and starting June 19th is that Etheria short film ordeal. Then we have June 22nd, Ghost Killers vs. Bloody Mary. Sorry, sorry, sounds interesting. Four YouTubers with expertise in supernatural events seek recognition from their audience while solving the urgent the urban legend of the bathroom blonde case, the spirit that haunts the school's bathroom. Okay, that description doesn't sound good. I mean, maybe it's worth a check, but I don't know. It doesn't sound great. Psychotic, coming out the same day. A group of hard-partying Brooklyn hipsters are stalked and savagely murdered by a masked maniac known as the Bushwick Party Killer. That sounds fun. I like a slasher-type film, and that sounds like it. June 25th, that film is when that film Yummy hits. And then the last one on here is June 29th, the film Dig Two Graves. A young girl obsessed with the death of her brother goes on a nightmarish journey where she must face a deadly proposition in order to bring him back. I don't know about that one. Okay, so that's all the updates I have for what's coming to Shudder in June. Now I will tell people if they have interest, you can stick around. I'm going to tell you kind of what I have coming up, confirmed and not confirmed. I will be doing live streams. Uh, I have mm, on Friday of this week, I have a, a uh, announcement for the next live stream. Um, so I'm going to be doing live streams every other Saturday. So we'll be doing that uh movies that are definitely coming up for review every sunday i just put up the tremors the first tremors review back on this past sunday so going forward every sunday after that it's going to be all the other tremors movies uh and then after tremors 6 the sunday after that one it will be the tremors tv show which i found out is available on youtube so i'm hitting all tremors stuff um, so those things are definitely happening. So if you're a Tremors fan or you want to know about that stuff, you're in luck for that one. Uh, other films that I plan on having come up, uh, The Killing of a Sacred Deer. I have a review ready to go for that one. That one's a definite. Uh, ones that I am potentially putting up, uh, The Black Coat's Daughter, which is an A24 film, and also the uh, Yorgos Lanthimos film Dogtooth, which Dogtooth... Um, is on Shutter, but it's another one of Yorgos's film. Yorgos did the, the Killing of a Sacred Deer. He also did films like The Favorite and uh, The Lobster. So, anyway, those are all the definite. Well, yeah, those are all the definites that I'm actually doing. There's a lot of other stuff at play though. So, if you guys have any ideas of stuff that I should definitely hit on Shutter, Hulu, well, here's what I have: Shutter, Hulu, Netflix, HBO. Let me know for, for all of those if you have specific ones. But anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out. Uh, put some comments down here. What are you excited about? What do you really want Shudder to show as well? Because actually if you go to their website, I believe they do take recommendations and they'll see if they can get them. So that's a, a good resource to use. But do me a quick favor, hit that uh, subscribe button. If you like any of the videos I do, that's your best way to repay me and keep me motivated to go. If you've already subscribed, just hit the thumbs up to let me know you're still watching. Uh, but regardless, thanks for spending your time checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.